Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. I would like to say a very big thank you to you guys for supporting me, liking and commenting on my post and all that. Gosh, I my, I ask them almighty God to bless you guys with a lot of um, long life and blessings and money and riches and all that, you know, in Jesus' name, amen. And also, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my sisters and brothers for sharing this all over the place for me. Guys, without you, I wouldn't be having this 1K now, God. I love you guys so much. And, and for the new ones, please don't forget to subscribe and share and also like, you know. Yeah, so today on this topic, I'm going to be talking about um, being black in Turkey. Yes, Istanbul, Turkey. So, do you think Turkish people are racist? You're about to find out. I'm drunk, you're not. Made it on another level, about to leave the spots. Ripping shit down off the walls in the party. But I'm in a back post, so nobody really knows this lie. I don't know how to act. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. And the earlier post, I said I'm going to be talking about being black in Turkey. Um, I would like to add that. This is my personal opinion, what I went through in Turkey, my experience, okay? So, in case I say something that you find offensive, please forgive me in your heart, okay? Yeah. So, um, guys, I want to say, uh, you know, Istanbul, if you know Istanbul very well, Istanbul has, is, has been divided into two. They have the Asian part and the European part. Uh, and I happen to live in the Asian part, a place called Pendik. I live there, and of course, I was teaching English over there. I remember... Um, from there to my school was like 10 minutes walk. Neighbor, like neighbors and everybody kept staring at me all the time. And I felt uncomfortable. Sometimes they call me Zengi, 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 Zengi. Zengi means a, for a black person, like a black, you know, yeah. So I like, I felt it uncomfortable all the time. Sometimes I want to go to the shop to buy something and I couldn't express myself because I can't speak Turkish. You know, it was really a big deal. And in Turkey, English, English, English is very, very, very poor. You know, they don't speak English at all. It's very bad. So trust me, if you don't really have a Turkish friend or somebody who understands Turkish and also English, it's very, very difficult to, I mean, function in Turkey, you know. So yes, but the good thing about me is that I had this good friend. His name was Jem. Hello, Jem. How are you? <laughs> Jem was like my guardian angel. I wouldn't know what I would have done myself in Turkey if I had not met Jem. Jem was like my brother, my best friend, everything, you know. If I need anything, I just have to call Jem. Jem, where are you? Please, can you come and just um, help me to do this? Sometimes I have to, I go to the supermarket, I want to buy something, I give the phone to Jem. I'm like, Jem, can you please speak to the people what I want or what I don't need? And if Jem is not around, I have to translate everything from my phone from English to Turkish. And I'll show you to them, then they'll get my stuff for me. Yeah, it was really challenging. Sometimes when I leave the house to school or maybe from school coming back to the house, I have to put on the hoodie and then with my headphones because I didn't want the energy around me because they kept staring at me and making funny, funny jokes and all that, you know, because I felt really, really, really bad. And I didn't have any family in, in Istanbul. So it was really bad for me. I go to the house, I just lock myself in the room and I start thinking about what is happening and all that, you know. It was really a problem for me. Sometimes I just like, I take the bus, for example, I sit in the bus and um, the way they keep staring at me, it's like sometimes I get scared, you know? So instead of me to stop at maybe uh, junction B, I just got off from junction A because I couldn't stand it, you know? The way they stare at me in the bus was like crazy. It was epic. I couldn't stand it, you know? So I'm like, sometimes I felt so bad, you know? But I mean, it's uh, later I got to realize something about Turkish people because I realized that uh, it's just especially when living the in Istanbul in the in the European side it's it's okay because they have a lot of foreigners living there others are students they are working there they move their family here and they are okay you know in the in the European side it's actually better but in the Asian side it's really 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 bad you know so sometimes I remember that I used to go to the European side to chill with some colleagues and then I come back when I just go home because. There was nothing to do in the Asian side for me because I didn't like the, the way they were staring at me. Staring was like crazy for me in Turkey. So yes, yeah, so um, that are some of the things that I would like to share with you guys about the staring, the English speaking. You know, it's there. Sometimes they even come and touch you, touch your hair to see what it's like, what is like, what is happening with your skin. You know, I don't know what they were trying to find. So let me talk about the pros. So now the pros because I wanted to start with the cons, then I moved to the pros. Okay. So please, this is so much things to do in Turkey. Trust me, a lot of things, right from the tourist attractions to their like to their beach, 
to their food, to their, you know, like the club and the, like, in fact, the night life, the night life in Turkey is so massive, you know, there's a lot of things to do in Turkey. I, it's a place that, I mean, and the clothes, shopping, oh my God, everything was like boom, 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 boom in Turkey for me. I really enjoy Turkey so much. Turkish people are very nice people. Some of them are very nice people, trust me. Some of you, meet some of them and like, you feel like they're like a family to you, you know? They're very nice. I remember during the um, Kurban Bayran, that's the, they come and they come to my house. They knock on my door. They give me food. They give me drinks. They give me fruits and vegetables. They're very nice people. My colleagues were very nice to me. And I remember sometimes my student just comes to me and say, "Chris, you know, you are the first person that I've actually seen. You no, know, because I always see black people on TV, on the internet, and in the newspapers. And I don't know how you guys are, but when I saw you, I realized that you are the same as me, except that we have a different color, but we have the same mindset, you know. <laughs> I mean, I understand. So, like I was saying earlier on, in Turkey, I don't think it is racism. I think it's ignorance because they just don't know. They just don't know. Because, for example, those that are students in the universities, because in, when you go to Turkey, most of the universities have foreign students, like black, Chinese, and everybody there. So, I mean, when 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 you meet those kind of the young Turkish people, they are very nice. They understand you. They express themselves with you. They like to hang out with you because they kind of know what's happening. But with the old folks, that's where the problem is, you know. And then it's 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 very funny because sometimes I remember we went to a place called Bukada. Bukada is like um, an island, you know. We went there. It was in summer, and I was there swimming with my friends, my friends, my colleagues. And I saw these two Turkish guys, from, like about 500 meters from me. You know, they wanted to take, like they, like they just kept staring at me. I didn't know what it was. I felt uncomfortable. Then I saw them coming closer, 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 closer. And then I saw one just came to me, like, excuse me, my friends would like to take a picture with you. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? I didn't know what selfie was till I went to Turkey. I didn't know what selfie meant. In Turkey, selfie is a big thing. I'm like, Chris, can I take a selfie? My students, my colleagues, you know. It was crazy. Like I said earlier, oh, this is my experience. Uh, just understand them. It's not, they just don't know what, it's ignorance. The ignorance is big over there. So you just, it's not everything that you just have to jump to conclusion and say it's racism or something. They just don't know what they are doing. Trust me, they just don't know. So guys, i will just like to end here and I'll say, um, I hope my small tips that I share with you guys will help you guys. So this is a video for the people, like my young brothers and sisters in Turkey or people planning to go to Turkey. These are some of the things that you just have to know because trust me, it's there. I mean, it's, you feel it. I mean, you'll feel it. So just, just embrace yourself and then enjoy the full time in Turkey. They have beautiful places. They have the tourist attractions, the fish, the seafood, the restaurant. The nightlife is dope in Turkey, as I said earlier on. Guys, I'm so happy to share with you two guys. I hope um, I've, I've shared something with you guys. Take care, guys, and take care of yourself. Corona is still in the system. I COVID, you know, it's everywhere. So... Sanitize your hands and put on your face marks. I love you guys. Stay tuned for my next vlog. Take care guys. It's your boy Crispin. Bye. Parking lot, but I'm not a dummy, never drinking, never drive. So it's back to the party, man. I gotta get inside. I